This movie is just way too predictable. It was decent at first. But they pull every cliche in the book. We get a character that kills a previous character that we never see. They replace them and pretend to be them. And then we get the whole plot twist of, you don't remember me, you did this to me. And they also try and convince you that this literal conversion camp isn't um, a conversion camp. One of the first lines from the most homophobic person there is talking about how there's not going to be any homophobic bullshit here. This movie's almost two hours long and they really don't do much with it. The representation was like the only kind of decent part of this movie. There's this um, two counselors who are closeted because of the stuff they went through back when they were younger. And there's a scene right before they die of them about to have sex, but they both have to have like pictures of the same sex on their phones when they're doing it. Girl has a girl on their phone and dude has a dude on his phone. It's kind of sad, but you know, after all the things they've did and put people through at this camp, I don't really feel that bad for them. Then we get another dude that they pretend he's a counselor and then he ends up sleeping with one of them. And it was supposed to be like a test to show that he needs to not be gay or whatever. Then he gets killed not too long later after finding a pedophile's body. Yep, they did that too. They had a pedophile in this movie. It reminds me a lot of Sleep Away Camp. They're out of camp. People are getting killed, you don't know who the killer is, and then you find out. And all the counselors are the ones dying. I'm pretty sure that was mostly the plot of the first movie. Maybe one or two people died in that movie They that weren't counselors, I think. In the first one, anyway. Not in the rest of them. Um, Kevin Bacon did a decent performance. But it's really hard to praise someone whose whole character is just being a homophobic prick. So I'm not really going to talk about Kevin Bacon in this movie too much. We actually got something that I didn't think we would see in this movie where they deal with internalized homophobia. Which, if you didn't know, it's when someone that was born gay just can't deal with the fact that they're gay. They hate themselves for it. And they have two of those characters in the movie, but they don't really explore much of that. No, there's this one kind of jock dude that says a few homo th homophobic things every now and then, misgenders people. Then eventually they try and make you feel good about him. And it's weird. And then there's a girl who does the same thing. But it's a little bit different. She misgenders someone and when she's corrected, she's like, I can't even do that right. And then talks about how she was born in a straight community and everyone was straight. It's just not very good. They give us a sex scene for basically like every gender, every sexuality. Like, oh, here's a gay sex scene with men, here's a gay sex scene with women, here's a straight one with straight people. And they were all around the same time, too. There was sex scene after sex scene once they introduced sex scenes in this movie. A few minutes later, here's another sex scene, here's another one. It just wasn't very good. They also have this the only scene that was kind of tense in the movie when Kevin Bacon's character, Owen, has them like shooting stuff and eventually he's like, 
well, you need to shoot something real. He's like, shoot the dog or we're going to torture the dog. And he, um, he obviously goes for this dude, Toby, who was pretending to shoot and didn't shoot and Kevin noticed it. So he's like, well, I'm going to call him up and have him do the killing. But of course, the non-binary character, Jordan, is the one to do it. Which they also misgender them several times in this movie. Kevin Bacon's character acts like he's fine with it at first. But then later in the movie we find out he's obviously not. It's it just really not that good. I don't know what I should expect from a, you know, corny pun for a movie. It's called They Slash Them. It's kind of creative, but really, you know, that's all they really got for this movie. Yeah, it's just really not that good. And a lot of the characters don't even talk. And some of them just straight up disappear from the movie. They have this little therapy session where everyone's sitting at chairs and telling why they're here. And several of them don't answer. But they say that everybody talked. And then like one or two of the people that were in that scene don't show up again. They just try and focus on like a few of the main characters and throw in some romances. And then occasionally have somebody get killed. Which they don't start killing people until almost near the end of the movie. Someone dies in the opening scene. The pedophile dies like I think almost an hour in. And then the rest of the people only die when the movie is almost over. They go on a killing spree after that. And for being a rated R movie, a lot of the death scenes were off screen. And they would just like have blood splatter on something to show you though, hey, that character's dead. The only one that got a really violent death was Kevin Bacon. And I could still see that death happening in a PG-13 movie. He got shoved into a deer. And then his throat slit, which the Invisible Man did that same thing. Throat slit thing. Though I think that one's rated R. But you know, the best scene of the movie is ironically something I usually don't like in movies. And it's a song. Jordan is questioning if they are really non-binary or not. After they get drilled by one of the homophobic counselors. And um, they just start bursting into a song with one of their friends. And then everybody starts singing. At least the main characters. All the other ones just kind of stand there. It's like they're glorified extras. But yeah, really disappointed in this movie. I was looking forward to it for, I think, a good four or five months when I first saw the trailer come out. Just really not that good. But it's not exactly terrible either. I never wanted to turn it off. I just wanted to watch it. That's about all I can say for this movie. Is at least it was enough for me to not turn it off. But yeah, I guess that's about it.